Finally today, as consumers become more interested in the environmental footprint of goods and services, farmers, processors, and others in the ag industry are looking for ways to understand the environmental impact of agriculture and to reduce that impact when possible. There's a new tool from the University of Nebraska that aims to help producers do just that. I recently visited with Elliot Dennis. He is an associate professor of agricultural economics at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and he highlighted this new tool. Well, we're learning more about the sustainability index. So just 30,000 foot perspective, what is that? Yeah, it's a program that we're developing at UNL in conjunction with USDA to essentially try to quantify some of the agricultural practices and environmental practices that are happening in ag production. So we can think about things like trying to quantify something like carbon uh, use, water use, energy use, uh, and different animal welfare practices and trying to put that all together in index that potentially consumers are willing to pay for. So from the consumer perspective, what does that look like? How do they use it? Yeah, so for consumers, we've known for a long time that they've been willing to pay for different practices. For instance, like cage-free, they've been willing to pay for premiums for that. Even things like airlines. When you buy an airline ticket now, a lot of times you can choose flights depending upon their carbon emissions. So we know consumers are willing to pay for that. Now in, in the ag industry, we haven't had an ability to kind of transfer some of the stuff that we're already doing that's good and some things that we can improve on to the consumer. And so this index essentially creates that verification process, quantification of it, that then the consumers can see what it is, how it's produced, and then pay for that product. Okay, the other side of it is the producers. What's their involvement in the sustainability index? Yeah, so from the beginning of this, we've involved producers to try to actually quantify and verify the practices that we're thinking of. So going in, looking at crop yield production, looking at different you know, fertilizer applications on the cattle side, looking at things like manure use, things like what they're feeding. And so during this process, we've actually engaged producers to say, okay, this is kind of how we're quantifying it. Uh, and this is kind of how we think it kind of rolls up in this kind of larger index. And so from that beginning and with the end potential to say, okay, if we're doing good practices, how can we potentially boost profitability for producers, for practices that, that they're already doing. And this quantification is really that preliminary step to anything that we might think of like carbon credits. Without quantification, we can't sell you know things like carbon credits throughout the market. Okay, you touched on it a little bit, but the end goal, what does that look like? Yeah, the end goal is to really provide a way that producers can get paid for practices that consumers are you know, willing to pay for. And so there's been a lot of this discussion about you know, consumers and, you know, what's the ag industry doing for, you know, as far as sustainability. This index essentially quantifies that and allows consumers to put their money where their mouth is. Well, we know the landscape of consumers and producers evolves rapidly. How do you see this evolving over time? Yeah, so with any index, it constantly evolves and adapts. And so one of the things that we really pride ourselves at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln is continuing to do research in this realm. And so things that we talk about, the Feedlot Innovation Center, and different feeding trials, uh, we're actually able to take information from that, apply it directly to the index, and really get a most up-to-date index that reflects current science. Awesome, appreciate the insight. What else is important to mention as we round out our conversation? Yeah, so this index will, is being validated this fall. We hope to have it up and running for producers to participate and use in this coming spring. If you're interested, just contact myself or other collaborators and we'd be happy to tell you more.